सो है एवरी वन वेलकम अगेन ऑन दे विश टैक चैनल इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी आर एबल टू राइट द लॉजिक फॉर डी कोडिंग द जे डब्ल्यू टी टोकन सो वी हैव क्रिएटेड द मिडिल वे डॉट जे एस फाइल नाउ इट्स टाइम टू वर्क ऑन द एक्चुअल ए पी आई एंड पॉइंट विथ हेल्प ऑफ दैट वी विल गोइंग टू फेच द यूजर रिलेटेड डेटा फ्रॉम द डेटा बेस एंड वी विल गोइंग टू सेंड इट टू द फ्रंट एंड टू शो इट प्रॉपरली ओके सो वी एडेड द डिफिनेशन ऑफ दैट एंड पॉइंट now it's time to work on that end point in this video so before i will move forward i will just ask your help just don't forget to subscribe the channel like the video and share the video with your friend so it will motivate me because of the lace mu uh, sometime i get deep motivated that uh, i'm putting my effort and if i will not get a uh, proper view or like so it will make me deep motivated so please don't forget to subscribe the channel like the video and share the video also please comment on a video how you feel about this video so just do it and help me to motivate okay so yeah now our task is to write a logic to fetch the data from the database okay so for that what we need to do the first thing we need to do is we need to import the schema okay so we have created that schema and what we did on a login route we first imported that schema similarly we have to do over here because we wanted to do a query in a database so we need a schema definition first and after getting the schema definition what we need to do is we need to make a query so the what kind of query we will going to make here the query we will going to make here will going to be a find one okay so what does that mean the find one query find one means uh we will going to pass some parameter based on that uh we wanted to make a query so if that rule i mean here the object we are passing it will contain a rule if the rule is valid then find out the first element so suppose in a database if we have array of uh register data so whenever a new user register with the account so we will have a array of uh those new uh, users so based on the find one what it will do it will going to return a first element because it's a find one so if i will pass mobile number like we are going to query based on the mobile number right so if the mobile number is the given mobile number we have so we will going to get the mobile number using the request dot decoded why we are going to make it because in a request parameter we have attached this decoded uh value so based on this decoded dot mobile number we will going to make a query so if the mobile number is same mobile number which we are getting from the token then so the first element of that so suppose we have array of uh user detail so the first element which have the same criteria it will going to return and after that thing basically all the time whenever we make a query basically we we get a callback method so in the callback method the first thing will going to be the error and the second thing will going to be the result okay so before i will make any kind of uh query over here let's try to console log the request dot decode okay so request dot decode to just give you a brief idea that exactly what is happening okay and uh, whenever we uh, made a api so as of now we are not doing anything to just return request dot json just it's for the demo purpose okay just request dot json okay okay and uh, to use this endpoint first we need to provide the route of this endpoint so just like login dot route dot js what we did that in index dot js we provided the proper route over here similarly we have to do the same thing over here first we need to import the user detail routes dot js like we did here so suppose i will use uh, user routes user detail routes user details routes and instead of 
giving this path i will put the path name you can i mean increase the speed of this video okay if you want and we have to provide a proper path like this we have to use the app dot use and uh, provide the path so suppose if i will say it will be a uh, user details okay and uh, suppose i mean not suppose we have the path of the user details so so here oh sorry so that's the same thing we did for the login route we are doing over here let me add this slash over here and let me hit the save and basically right now we have added the user details over here right so instead of adding the user details like in a login routes we added the first endpoint slash similarly i'm going to remove this user details because we already provide the endpoint name over there properly okay so the slash we're going to hit it over here like the login we did okay and uh, now here you can see that we are getting an error so what we need to do we need to just export it like we exported at the end of the file so module dot export the router and if i will hit the save then error will gone and now we can test it so now at this time we i have installed the uh, postman so let's go on a postman and let's test it so this was the uh, endpoint for the login a uh, user so earlier we created the uh, user with the mobile number one two three four five and the password was the same one two three four five and here we have a token okay so let me add a new request new request will going to be a gate okay again and uh, the the initial the base server link will going to be same like it it will it is running on a local host at port 3000 and now we wanted to hit the endpoint call user details so let me get the user details so and now as of now we just have to pass the token okay and what kind of token we wanted to provide bearer token in the last video i have discussed that we have a token standard that is a bearer so in a postman if you go on authorization section then you will find bearer token and here you have to provide the token which you got from the login or register endpoint so let me get it over here and copy it and go here and provide it okay now if i will hit the scene then basically i am getting some error what does that it is saying if i will go here i can see the error same so request.json is not a function oh sorry it should be a response.json not the request.json because we are sending a response right so let me put a response.json server is written again let me hit it again okay we got the okay and if i will go here i just console log the request.decoded and you will find in the request.decoded you are able to see the same kind of uh, decoded uh, text as we saw earlier in the last video on a jwt.io website right so we are able to decode the uh, token successfully that's why we are getting the token properly now we can resume the implementation of the uh, uh, getting the data from the database so that was the part of showing you that everything is working fine or not now let's go uh, if it will find the first data from the database which have the same mobile number then we are getting the error and result uh, if you want then we can console log the uh, result what actually we are getting in a result let's see so if i will control s and if i will again hit uh, hit the end point we got the okay and here you will find that this is the this is the uh, it is the result we are console logging so it have mobile number password full name all those things we provided earlier so which means we are able to get the data properly now we have to just return it back to the front end right so the best thing is first handle the error if we got any kind of error then return response.json 
okay which have the message or we can provide the status okay status will going to be a uh, 500 okay, like we did right here also we did the status 500 if we can't get any kind of error and we can provide the JSON message will going to be um, what success and uh, result will going to be result so we will going to pass these two things again and again so basically it will automatically take the result but yeah okay let me hit the save and uh, let me just format it i don't know prettier okay so control s so we are able to handle the error let's send the actual result oh here we have to send the error okay sorry that was my mistake and here we have to send the actual result uh, send the message as error and result will going to the error which we will get from the this callback method and the uh, else if we are not if we are not getting any kind of error then just send the success and the actual result which we are getting and now we can remove it okay so now we can remove it and hit the control s so let's go on the postman and in the postman you can provide the api name so api name will going to be user detail so this is a api documentation as well generally we the backend people do the api documentation and share it to the front-end guy because with the help of this api uh, documentation front-end guy will know that what are the things we have to pass on authorization header or what we need to pass on a body those kind of thing so if i will hint send then you will find that now we are getting a message which have the success and uh, here we also getting the uh, the object which contain the proper mobile number and password all those stuff what if we will provide a wrong token if I will hit send then see that we are getting status status false and invalid token so basically where it is coming from so like in a middleware.js file we are handling the error of this part as well so if we pass an invalid token so the verification will be uh, failed and we will get a status fault in misses invalid token suppose if we will not provide any kind of token and if we hit the send then as of now what we are getting so basically we have to handle that part as well so if we will not provide any token so here itself we can handle so if not equal to token which means we are not providing any token then simply return token not provided okay so let's see if i will hit it again i'm not providing the token then we are getting a status message false and token not provided because i am handling the error so you have to do the same thing you have to handle every kind of error you can get possibly in a future to prevent any kind of uh, blockage in your app okay so yeah pretty much we are done we are now able to make the api call for uh, user detail now we are getting the proper data and we just have to hit this endpoint we just have to hit this endpoint and we have to provide a token then it will get back a user related data to the front end okay and that thing we will going to do in a next video okay in the next video we will going to make a api call and get it data and show it on the profile page okay so let's do it in a next video till that please don't forget to subscribe the channel like the video and share the video to your friend thank you all happy coding